Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm sat at the desk once again trying to buy more stock for the forecourt here at Barrow Motors because it's actually looking rather bare. And of course I'm trying to buy more interesting stuff, things that's not just so run of the mill, I just, I don't know, keeps it interesting for me. I feel like you can have a better, bigger margin in it because it's harder to price that sort of stuff. It might be a bit more risky, um, but hopefully should draw people in to want to buy them. It makes interesting content for the channel. Yeah, it keeps it interesting for me rather than just a forecourt full of Kia Picantos and Nissan Notes. I don't know how James at Chops Garage does it, to be honest, because it would drive me mad. Anyway, in my quest for interesting things, what's come across my desk, my desk? What's come across my radar? What's come on to, you know, I've seen this online via BCA, is a Ford Transit Custom. I saw this and thought, I don't really want to have vans. I had stocked a few vans recently, and the first few sold okay. Well, we had a stock of vans. We were getting a few sales, but it slowed right off. But this looks very interesting because it's fully kitted out. It's got side skirts and bumpers and, you know, all that sort of stuff. It's all blacked out, murdered out, um, which is all really popular, isn't it, with these vans these days. It's your mobile office for people who are a tradesperson. And everyone wants one that looks really fancy, especially these Ford ones. So I thought we'd have a look. So here is what we're looking at, this black transit custom. You can see it's got like body kit bits on it and whatever and black wheels and it just, you know, looks quite smart, doesn't it? Even on the forecourt here amongst all the sort of Porsches and BMWs and things like that, it's gonna look smart, I think. Uh, and in fact, I think if we put this out on the front, when we have put vans on the front here on the forecourt, people tend to just swing in, driving by in their van. I've been looking for a van, that looks well cool. So yeah, it's all black, all that sort of stuff, 19 plate, in fact, you can see it there. I never looked at these pictures this large before, actually, um, but now I have. You can see that it says deranged on the back. And you may have seen already in our Ranger video where we bought a Seeker Ranger that's kind of, they take a van and they'll put their kit on it to make it cooler, perhaps what people would have liked it to have had done from the factory so that your van stands out a little bit and it's not just any old white panel van. When I was looking through these pictures first off, I hadn't figured that out so far. I just thought maybe this was a you know a Ford option or someone had spec'd it themselves. So yeah, we've got a different rear bumper. Look at that, it's got some kind of F1 style bumper with a couple of HDMI port style exhausts. I don't know whether that's gonna be, you know, well, it must be a modified exhaust, but you know, whether it's a different sounding one or not, I don't know. The tires actually look like they've got pretty good tread on. Ply line in the back. So it's actually been used as a work van. Uh, we've got, well, I thought it was cloth seats, but maybe it's not. They've got seat covers on. Maybe it could be leather interior. 90,626 miles on it. We've got a nice head unit. We've got air conditioning. I wonder if we've got heated seats. I can't see anything that says it does, but we're gonna have sat nav and Bluetooth and all that sort of good stuff in there. I imagine we'll have cruise control. Yeah, cruise control there, six speed manual. Steering wheel is looking absolutely battered, like the driver's been chewing on it, to be honest. So we might have to get a new steering wheel. So we'll have to factor that in, um, maybe in the short term, just a steering wheel cover, just to cover it up. I thought previously when I did it, maybe it was, I might be able to get someone to retrim that, to be honest. You can probably make it a nice, uh, I would say a nice Alcantara one, but you probably don't want that in a trade van. Speaking as a qualified plumber, gas engineer, when you've got flux and stuff on your hands, it tends to eat any materials you then put your hands on. Lots of stone chips on the bonnet. That's probably because this has been doing 115 in the fast lane on the M5 for the majority of its life. But that's all right, we can sort that out. A little chip in the wheel there. A few little scuffs and things that we're not gonna be too worried about things you'd expect for a van. I'm sure we can touch them in and make it look a lot better. So there it is, quite a cool looking thing really. And so once I'd figured out that this was, in fact, what did I see? This was the picture that I first saw on my phone. I could just about make out that it said deranged on there. So I have done my Google research and found the company. It's another one of these kind of like custom houses, uh, which is deranged and it seems like they do all sorts of stuff. Uh, we're on the Transit custom page, but they do Rangers, uh, looks like Navaras, Wranglers, Mustang even. Um, and they also seem to stock interesting cars as well. BMW M5 there, nice Range Rover. What else do I see there? A Lamborghini. Yeah, look at that. They've got a Ford F-150 Raptor. That looks mental. 
and a Lamborghini Huracan STO. So yeah, they do some interesting stuff. And I thought to figure out exactly what kind of kit we had and how much it would have cost, we could maybe use their configurator, which I've done. I've already set this up so I can just take you straight to it, to be honest, um, which is on this page here. And look, if that isn't our van in person there, look at it, that's, that's our van, isn't it? Let me get the front shot. There it is, look. That is our van. How cool is that? We can just leave it spinning away there. So that means I've added the Transit Custom S package, which is what I believe we've got. Gloss black 18 inch alloy wheels, premium tires, front bumper skirt in body color, gloss or satin black front splitter, rear bumper skirt in body color, gloss or satin black rear diffuser, side skirts in body color, rear decal, and metal shield wing badges, which are these bits we can see here, telling us that it is a genuine deranged transit van. I'm looking at that, and there's our rear bumper that we've got. And when I was specking this a minute ago to see you know, what this thing's actually gonna be worth, because pricing this thing is gonna be difficult, uh, I didn't include exterior additional features Exhaust sound enhancer, that's another thousand pounds. Is that what our exhausts are on ours? Don't know, that's something we're gonna have to wait to find out. I'll, tick, I'll remove it for now, which means, as far as I can tell, there are interior options as well, but I don't think we've got lever trim, but again, I could be wrong. If we have, that's a 2,250 pound option, but I'm not sure if we do. Um, and we don't seem to have any of the other bits and pieces. It seems like they just wanted to look good from the outside and not too much has changed on the inside, which means that our bill to have had this done, or if we wanted it done now, would be 4,800 pounds plus VAT. So we're gonna have to take that into account when it comes to the pricing on this, aren't we? So let's look at pricing. What would pricing be for a normal one? A normal one would retail at 12,644 pounds plus VAT, apparently. It's not a normal one, is it? So if we have a look through, there are a lot of these, and obviously they're all priced quite cheaply because they're bright yellow, white with boring standard wheels on, they're not anything special. But I did do an auto trader search for deranged and found a couple. I wonder if we can find them in this list here. Here's one, for example. I hadn't actually seen this one before, but let's have a look at this one. 15, well, 16,000 pounds plus VAT. What's the mileage on that? 68,000. Um, and it looks to be the same as ours. Oh, it's got different alloy wheels. Is it? No, that's that's not a deranged one, is it? No, it's not. It hasn't got the kit and whatever, so we can ignore that. Um, I did find... Oh, here's one that supposedly says it's a deranged, but it's freaking ugly. It's got the same alloy wheels, but they've been painted gold and it's got a different grill and it's got a BCA background. And to be quite honest, it looks disgusting in my opinion. It has only got 17,000 miles, but that one's up to 23,000 pounds plus VAT. There is one other that's pretty much a good match for ours. Here we are. So this is a deranged one, but it is different wheels. Maybe it's got a slightly different So it's slightly different, isn't it? It's got a different version. Maybe that's the other body kit they do. What was the pricing like? 24,000 pounds plus VAT. That is on 33,000 miles, which is a third of what ours has got. So realistically, what do I think ours is going to sell for or would sell for? I think we could ask 15 and a half plus VAT. I think that would be sensible. What I don't want to do is massively overprice it and then find out that no one really cares about the body kit. I know they will, but maybe they're not willing to pay for it or you can get a cheap one or something. I don't know. I think I think it would be okay, to be honest. Right, so if I go back to our pricing, retail price of £12,644, 100% with a margin of 750 but we want more than that. But I think, let's say 15495 which puts us at 122%, but it's an outlier, isn't it? Because it's not a standard van. And I would like to have four thousand pounds out of it, which is our three seventy, uh, three thousand seven hundred fifty there plus our two hundred fifty, two hundred and fifty of reconditioning costs, and this is all going to be plus VAT of course. 
So I think we can bid up to, if we're feeling brave, 11,000 pounds and plus fees, obviously, which would probably, I think, be about 500 quid on this. Um, and then it's not, it's not an obvious or easy choice, this car. It's not like buying a two-year-old Tesla that highly in demand at the moment and the pricing is all there laid out for you. It's a bit of an oddball, this, and we're taking a chance on it actually being a nice kit installation and all that sort of stuff. It's gonna be interesting when it comes to auction because I don't know if people are just gonna look at this as a standard van. Maybe some a couple of people have bid a little bit extra because they think it looks smart or probably everyone else will have done their research like I will. But how many people really want something that oddball in their forecourt? I don't know. We won't know till it goes through auction, but luckily for us, that isn't very long. So join me when it comes through and we'll see if we can get it bought. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at it. Look at that, uh, Where's it going to start? Starting at 7 8. Looks good. Looks good. He's lost his voice, is looks that good? Looks good. 8 3. What's it? Body kid. Sounds nice as your man, then. 8 Still provisional, though. Uh, Rob says good morning, Joe. Uh, <laughs> 92, 92. Family house subscribed. 93, 93. Family not going to become a patron. 94, 94. 94, but he's not going to become a patron. 94, 94. 94, 94. 94, 94. 94, 94. 94, 94. 94, 94. 94, 94. 94, 94. 94, 94. 94, 94. 94, Nine eight ninety eight soul fifty nine eighty nine eighty nine 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 Ten three fifty, ten four, ten thousand four, and average seven four, but ten thousand four, and average seven four, ten four, ten four. Thank you very much, ten thousand four. Got it, ten thousand four hundred, but we've got really hope. So I'll just send a message back to them on this screen there, seeing as they said good morning. Right, so as discussed, this is in Bridgewater, so we can probably pick this up. We're flat out at the minute, so it probably won't be until tomorrow. Um, but Toby and I can swing down there, pick up my new van, and yeah, we'll see what kind of work it needs, and yeah, just see if it's as impressive as it looks with that £5,000 kit on there, and take it for a test drive. So we'll see you then. It's pretty sprightly. We already figured out it's got heated seats in here. We've got air conditioning, which I would have expected air conditioning, but heated seats is a plus. And that's on this, on the whole bench. So, although, can't say that feels like it's getting hot, but then you said yours is getting really hot. Maybe it's only the outside one, or maybe you need to have actual body on it to make it warm up. Air conditioning's definitely working. We probably don't need it that cold anymore. Drives, very nice. Seems to pull to the right a little bit when you accelerate. more than a little bit maybe so we'll look into that oh, this is nice can't believe how much vans have come on since I remember my dad having a banana engine transit van back in the day and god the gear stick was in the floor for a start so the gear stick was a, about two foot tall and it would just when it was idling do, 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 like this and we drove it all the way to Portsmouth. Is it Portsmouth? No. Plymouth. Where my sister went to university and had a house and needed my dad to do some plumbing stuff or whatever when I was just a kid. And we had to scream along at like 55 miles an hour. And then the tyre the blew up so we had to redo that at the side of the road. So, fun times. Don't think you'd have all those sorts of issues in this. We had the cruise control and 180 horsepower. They are worlds apart these days. Pretty decent. So I don't think we've got sat-nav, we've just got 
a fancy DAB Bluetooth. What's it say about mobile apps? Oh, maybe you can go to to sync and enable apps and ensure the device is connected. Ah, so maybe it's got CarPlay of some sort. It's quite cool. There we are. Cruising at 45 miles an hour. Wonder what the average fuel consumption is. How do I do the 15 and a half miles per gallon since we set off? But then I have been hooning. Current, it's saying 50. It's pretty decent. I like this cup holder. Check this. Could be slightly over engineered when you could just have, like, you know, a plastic thing that has got potential to break, hasn't it? But still, it's fancy. The cup holder's up. Quite good cup holders there. Doesn't look like. They're as bad as the Vivaro ones. We've got USB and 12 volt up here. Very nice. And now we can go to Tool Station and pick up some post Crete, and we won't be laughed at for being in a RS5 or a Cayman or something. Place your bets now how much one of these steering wheels is going to cost second hand. See if we can find one on eBay or alternatively, how much would it cost to get trimmed? Don't even know if we'll get a price for that, but. It's very boosty, isn't it? I guess it needs to have the power for when you load it up with stuff in the back, but. Not so much that time. We still don't know if this has got the thousand pound exhaust option on it from deranged. I to think to look at the exhaust tips. We will do when we get out of tool station, because the options they give you from deranged is a thousand pounds for a, I think it was note changing exhaust system. I wonder if it was one of it like on that uh, Maserati. It just puts a speaker in the exhaust. Burr, 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 burr. Makes it sound like you're driving a V8. Even these seat covers look like really nice quality. What's it say? TNC covers. I don't think we'll have too much trouble selling this. Put USB things everywhere. There's another one there. And well, that's not USB, but that is. Definitely the van for this job. Visibility's not great with the deranged, I gotta say. This could do with a rear camera, I reckon. Right, so we've proven that this thing seems to drive pretty well. Maybe pulls to the right a little bit, but that might just be a characteristic of a transit custom. I don't really know. But we will check that out. We found out that it doesn't have a fancy exhaust system, it just has some like fake USB-C things in the bumper, but that's okay. They're quite cool. And we know that we need to get a new steering wheel and give this not much of a clean, to be honest, it's pretty damn good. But we will get cracking with all of that, find out how much a steering wheel is, and then we will catch up with you when this is in the showroom, gleaming like a diamond in a goat's ass, and I'm explaining how much we've spent on it all. We'll see you then. Right, there we have it. You have just seen around the Deranged Transit Custom, which is absolutely awesome. Everyone who's seen it does seem to be like falling in love with it. I'm now gonna go and park it on the front of the forecourt, because I think it's the type of thing someone's gonna drive by and be very interested in wanting this, just because of how it looks. You'll have seen that we've put a new steering wheel. I was amazed how cheap I managed to get one, just 100 quid, which has completely transformed that interior. Dan's taken off the seat covers as well, which is still in there, because they're quite a nice, uh, like, quality but he had to take the seat out in order to unplug the battery so that he didn't blow his face off with an airbag so that is all done now and yeah it's just a really nice thing so i don't know i don't know how quickly or slowly this is gonna sell i, I think it will go quite quickly but i could be proven wrong because it's a bit of a specialist thing 
I've currently got this listed for 15 and a half thousand pounds plus VAT, which I think is fair for what it is. And it would give me a nice little margin. In fact, if I open up my dealer kit, which is our new dealer management system, which I'm very much liking, I can go to this vehicle, which here it is. If we haven't mentioned it already, it's 335 pounds for a year's worth of tax. Let me bring up my invoice. So it was 10,400 pounds we bid plus 378 pounds and 33 pence of indemnity, 41 pounds 50 for our BCA assured charge and quite a lot of VAT. So if I look at our expenses section, currently, if we sell this for what we've got to advertise for and we don't spend too much more on it, I think we might do a few little smart repairs, but they're probably ones we can do ourselves. Then we are looking at a 4,591 pound and 84 pence net margin that's with the VAT taken out so that is a very healthy margin indeed but have I priced it right am I being greedy I don't think I'm being greedy but I might even be too cheap I don't know but we will find out either way let me know your thoughts in the comments would you have a van that's got a six thousand pound kit on it or do you think it's completely unnecessary and you should have your steel wheels and white panels let me know your thoughts that is it for this video. Please make sure you like it. If you've enjoyed it, it'll really help me out. And on top of that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And don't forget to check out my raffle website, feelgoodcompetitions.com. That is it for this video. We'll see you next time.